Well, I've been slowly working on the mess of my wood pile here. I hauled in, I think, three 28-foot trailer loads of logs. And I've probably got half, maybe two-thirds of them done. I've been blocking and splitting, and I've still got a bit to go to clean up this mess. Rabbits really like it, though. And so far, in all my blocking and chainsawing, I haven't run across any friendly what do they call them? Rattlesnakes? Buzzworms? Anyway, this is the shed that I need to straighten up. You can see it sits crooked to the world. Well, winter was coming in last fall and I just needed a shelter for the winter. I thought, well, I'll find a time when I can square it up. Well, maybe now is a good time that I can try to do that. Well, this is where I fed our three cows all winter. I did take the bobcat and kind of push all the manure up to a pile. That has probably settled about 50%, just decaying through the last few months since I pushed it up. Well, I was even able to clean this out, but you know, they like it even in the summertime because it's good shade. And they actually like to be in this nice, fine, loose dust. Kind of helps beat the flies a bit. So they spend quite a bit of time in here. So I'm gonna to try to do something maybe not so smart, I'm not sure. This is just setting on the ground. I don't have it anchored at all, no posts, no nothing. And when I did take my bobcat and kind of clean this out, it moved a little bit, but I was kind of pretty careful. So I think I can come in and just pick it up. What do you think? This roof is all attached with joist hangers on the end. The plywood is all screwed to these roof joists. I'm thinking if I come in and pick up probably the first load here and pick up with my bucket on these two back roof joists, I bet I can pick it up and maybe walk it out of here. So I would like to level this up. I might be disturbing a local resident hornet's nest. Wonder how they're gonna like this. Well, I've got probably 20 inches, two feet max to this fence line. And I think I would like to set a couple of ties back here that I can anchor this shed to, level it up, and then kind of backfill to where it sits square to the world. My intention is to side this and then put a metal roof on it, but I've been reluctant to do that until I get it all squared up a little more permanent. things some people won't do. I think it actually worked. So I need the post hole auger on my tractor and I'll dig a couple holes, set some ties. What I have is guardrail posts. I'm going to plant a couple of those right alongside that fence and square them up I think pretty close and then I can run my level and attach my back wall to that and then square things up.
Well, these two guardrail ties that I've got, they're actually <laughs> actually seven by seven. I am not gonna go super deep. I think I'm maybe two feet deep. All these are is bumpers, so I don't have to be three feet. Neighbor's cows are up close and it drives this redhead bonkers that he can't be over there. Well, here's our afternoon thunder shower starting to build to the west. I doubt I'll be out here much longer. But just trying to trying to see how much fill I might have to bring in. Yeah, this is a low corner right there. I think what I'll do, I'll get some ground treated material so the shed will sit here, go across, so I'll have to fill a couple inches. Well, as it turns out, I looked through my pile and I did find that I had a 2x6 ground treated board, so I'm going to put that underneath here. The bottom of this board here is going to be my top I'm only 10 foot long my shed is 12 my posts that I just stuck in here are eight feet center to center how that happened to be who knows look at the draw I guess here the thunder starting to roll I don't know if you can hear that or not for a calf shed. That'll be my back shelf that the shed can sit on. Well, I did shut down last night with the storm coming in and just about dark it really settled in and we had a nice little decent rain most through the night. Now it's still cloudy to the east as it's kind of shifting from the west to the east which is kind of common for this country. But you can see toward the west it's starting to break up so I think we're good for probably today. I did run to town. I got three 2x6 ground treated 12 foot long. Uh, boards so I can put in the base for this shelter and contemplating this through the night which is what you do instead of sleeping you know I decided I think I'm going to put another two by on top of this one that I set up got my eight foot centers marked out here center of these ties and I'm going to come out 12 feet and there's enough drop in this hillside that I'm going to run two two by sixes laterally headed east, square them up and then set ties on the outside of those. I'm going to come out 12 foot deep, 12 foot wide and I'll cross measure to square this up, drill a couple more holes 
and I've got two more uh, guardrail posts that I'll set on the outside so that they can't spread the base of this and I'll be anchored to all four corners and there's enough slope here I think it's going to shoot out to grade pretty well. So since I'm factoring in the width of my plywood sheeting, I'm going to shim this out to account for that as well. And the framework is going to sit square on this tie and the sheeting will sit right there. <laughs> And my side will go into here. I've got a half inch here. So to be 12 foot overall length, I've got to take off two inches. So I'll be 12 foot from this outside edge forward. Well, luck of the draw, I'm actually really level right there on this one. This one, I'm a little high on that end, so I'll have to dig that out just a fuzz. So, I want to be 12 foot, counting on my sheeting, so I want to be an inch shy on my frame. The process of squaring it up. Boy, look at that. 203 and a quarter both directions. So I've got this post where it needs to be at the right distance. I've got it square in my diagonal where I had it before to the two by six, not including the sheeting, is two or three and a quarter, so it should be square. So I gotta set the other side yet. I got this one at 143 with my half inch sheeting. I'll be 144, 12 feet. So I just need to bring this up and square it up. Well, I've got this sideboard, I think, pretty much to grade. I'm a little high, which I expected. I might take the bobcat and try to push this out a little bit. This other side came out just about right, which is what the level told me. So we're good there. I'm about a half inch wide of 12 feet between my posts, which I wanted that a little bit. I don't know for sure if the bobcat will lift this whole building up over the top of these or if I'm going to have to come in and slide through the center of them. If I do have to do that, I wanted a little bit of room to kind of finagle this in. See if I can't put the building back on here.
a quarter inch to go there maybe on the back. Not like so, I think. Well, that's a whole lot more square to the world. I kind of like how that sets and a little extra height isn't going to be a bad thing. If I put the front on, I'm actually going to put a little drop. So I want enough room to still get my bobcat underneath there so I can clean it out. Well, that's as far as I'm going to go. I actually spent a little more time on this just because I didn't want cows coming in and bumping it off. I actually have a day job and I need to go do that. But it's something I need to do before winter and another six weeks, who knows, we'll be into snow. Appreciate you following along. 